Now once we have Solid Edge loaded, we'll go to New and open up a metric part file. And the easiest way to get started and draw a 3D part is go up here to the box command. And if I hesitate on the box command, it'll show me how to actually create the box. But if we just go and click on the box command, and anywhere in the screen here, just click anywhere, move your cursor out, create the rectangle shape by clicking again, and just push in or out of the screen to create your 3D part. Now there's some other parts that are similar to this. If we go under the box command, right where this little arrow is there, just pull down on that and you'll see where it says cylinder. Same thing, anywhere on the screen you can just click, move your cursor out, and move your cursor in or out of the screen to create the cylinder. Again, let's go look again. There, underneath here there's the sphere command. We can just click anywhere on the screen, click, move your cursor, and create the sphere. Now this box icon is part of the command ribbon bar, and the command ribbon bar organizes commands by tabs, by groups, per environment. Now another thing I'd like you to pay attention to is our feature tree. If you look down here, you'll see in the feature tree we've got a box, a cylinder, and a sphere. Now we could go up to the undo button, if we hit undo, 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 this is where we started and you'll see there's nothing in this feature tree. And as we add these shapes, and let's just go to redo, we'll see it adds the box, then it adds the cylinder, and it adds the sphere. Now another thing with the command ribbon bar, if you don't have a lot of real estate, a lot of space on your screen, you may want to go into this option here, this little pull down, and go to minimize the ribbon. When you hit minimize the ribbon, it gives you a little more space to work. Now it's all still there. All those buttons are still there under the tools and 3D sketching and home, but they only appear when you click on the button. And you can toggle this on and off. I'm just going to go back now and toggle this to show the ribbon. Now, if you're worried your buttons don't look the same as what you're seeing on my screen, it may be that you have a smaller computer or a lower resolution. For example, if I go and drag in on my screen, watch what happens to the menu, the, the solids for example. If I grab here and pull this in, you'll see it collapses the menu. And so the buttons are still there, you just have to pull out to get to the solids menu and the patterns and things like that. So again, that's what's happening if it doesn't look exactly the same. If you have a larger screen with higher resolution, you'll see the buttons all come back.